The goal line game is a tight space game that works on a player's offensive and defensive skills and awareness around the net. Begin by drawing a line across the corner creating a six foot space behind the net. Two players from each team start in the playing area with a neutral goaltender. The coach initiates the game by spotting the puck into space that creates a loose puck battle. Players compete two on two and on change of possession the puck must be carried or passed below the goal line before the new offensive team can attack the net. The goal line game can be played at different age levels but as the players get older more details within the game can be demanded. Defensively the game focuses on having good body and stick position, awareness of opponents away from the puck, as well as quick transition to offense. Offensively we are focusing on maintaining puck possession, using skating and body positioning skills to attack the net, and offensive sport away from the puck. Now let's look at this same shift sequence in greater detail. The coach spots a puck to create a loose puck battle. The blue team gains possession and initially the two white players start in good defensive position. The first defender at the puck has defensive side body position between the puck carrier and the net. He also has good stick position taking away the passing lane. The puck carrier uses puck protection and skating skills to separate and attack the net. The first defender stays with him and does a good job of playing stick on puck. Defender 2, however, stares at the puck and loses track of his man allowing the opponent to slip behind and into good scoring position. White regains good defensive position. Defender 2 is in okay defensive support position, but could be better if above the goal line. As the puck gets moved, the second defender does a good job of playing stick on puck while his partner maintains defensive side body position, beating his man off the wall and back into play. White is then able to gain puck possession and quickly transition to offense. Now the offensive support player gets open in front. Next, the new first defender has two hands on his stick, shortening his reach, so he just misses taking away the passing lane, allowing a great scoring chance. Another loose puck battle occurs, and the second blue player does a good job of jumping on the loose puck. With White now defending, the net front defender plays stick on puck, denying a path to the net. White's first defender is now in good position, but the second white defender is again puck watching and gets lucky. On the new puck, Blue establishes good body position, but should be more aggressive in taking away the puck carrier's time and space, giving them an opportunity to make a play. Now let's look at these concepts in a full ice game. Offensively, these two Americans do a great job of beating their coverage off the wall and back to the net, creating a scoring chance. We are quick to pick up the loose puck and use the net. Our support player makes a nice screen to give his teammate time and space to make a play. Finally, we use puck protection and skating skills to roll off the defender and immediately attack the net. Defensively, we have good defensive side body position, one hand on the stick, and stick on the ice to take away space. We stay with our man, not allowing him to beat us back to the net. Watch as this defender moves back to the net and looks over his shoulder so that he maintains good defensive position and keeps track of his opponent. Again, here we have good defensive side position with a good stick to disrupt the play at the net. And finally, we're able to transition to offense. The key defensive points within the game are good defensive side body position, good stick position, and awareness away from the puck. The offensive points are in the use of puck protection and skating skills to maintain possession and gain time and space, as well as support movement away from the puck.